Welcome. I am in the city of Istanbul in the country recently known in the English speaking world as Turkey, but changed now to Turkey. -A. I am heading along the Bosporus right now, which is a waterway that runs through the city of Istanbul from the Black Sea and eventually the water makes its way to the Mediterranean and it separates the continents of Europe and Asia. So that's right, you can be in the same city but two different continents. That's why this really is where East meets West. I am headed for the Sultan Ahmet neighborhood right now, but I should preface this video by saying this is a very short visit. I am on my way to West Africa and stopping by for a day in Istanbul. Like I said previously, being a big history buff, Istanbul is one of my favorite cities to visit, and indeed the whole country of Turkey A is incredible. The history here is tough to beat. I have been several times and definitely will go back and take some good videos here and explore a lot more like I've done before. But this time, I'm just here for a short visit. But there's no way I'm going to just sit in a hotel room. So we're just going to see one neighborhood, but a really great one. One of the best in the world. You just saw some of the remnants of the old city wall and you'll see some more shortly. Istanbul was once known as Byzantium, then in 330 AD Constantine, the Roman Emperor who made Christianity the national religion and made it widespread in Europe, moved the capital of the Roman Empire from Rome to here, and the city was renamed after him and changed to Constantinople. Then in 1453, more than 1100 years later, it was conquered by the Ottoman Turks from the east and renamed once again to Istanbul. It changed from one of the hearts of the Christian world to one of the hearts of the Islamic world. The Sultan Ahmet area where we are headed is a great place to see that up close. And here we are, we have arrived. I've arrived here very early in the morning, so for the first hour or so, I don't have to deal with hardly any tourists. I've got the place mostly to myself, and it's pretty great. Now we are coming up to one of my favorite buildings in the whole world, Hagia Sophia. Towers over the people. Absolutely amazing building. If this building was built now, I would marvel at it. But the fact that it was built 1,500 years ago, it's hard to comprehend. Sultan Ahmet Mosque, better known as the Blue Mosque, with its six minarets. The Blue Mosque was completed in 1619. It sits directly across from Hagia Sophia. You can see what a huge impression Hagia Sophia made on the conquering Ottomans upon entering the city. Hagia Sophia was already well over 900 years old when the Turks gained control of it. 
they quickly turned it from the world's largest church for all that time into a mosque. In fact, it was the largest building in the world until the Seville Cathedral was built in 1520. Hagia Sophia was commissioned by the Roman Emperor Justinian and completed in 537 AD. And as you can see, the architecture was so impressive, it inspired a great many other much later buildings, including the Blue Mosque. After the fall of the Ottoman Empire after World War I, Turkey became a secular republic and Hagia Sophia was again changed, this time from a mosque to a museum. They discovered old mosaics that had been plastered over when it was turned from a mosque of Jesus, his mother Mary, and Roman emperors among others. Now my plan was to go inside of it again. The inside is absolutely massive and magnificent. I've been in it before, but in 2020, Hagia Sophia was changed back into a mosque again. And the Islamic holy day is Friday. And of course, Friday just happened to be the one day I was in Istanbul this time. So, though I have pictures of the inside from the past visits, I was not allowed in today to take any videos this trip. Next time, I'll be sure to visit on a different day. Here's the beautiful blue mosque once again. And it too was closed on the inside today, of course. The Blue Mosque in Istanbul and the Imam Mosque in Iran are among my favorite mosques I've seen in the world. Stopping in a sweets and spices shop to pick up some Turkish delight. On my way to Top Copy Palace now. This is Top Copy Palace where the Ottoman sultans and their harems lived. Coming up on Top Copy Palace's Gate of Salutation, first built in 1468. Up on the rooftops in Istanbul, there's the Bosphorus across the other side is Asia. And we are here in Europe. Here is the Blue Mosque and the Great Hagia Sophia once again. I highly recommend if you're going to Istanbul, go to some of the nearby rooftops to get great viewpoints. Turkey, among other things, is particularly famous for its carpets. 
its sweets and its spices. We are now heading into an area called the 1000 Strange. Or excuse me, the Grand Bazaar. And it is a huge, huge, huge shopping area that goes on and on and on for many blocks. Very similar to the Khan El Kalili in Cairo. Now, just a warning for anybody who has epilepsy or is bothered by fluttering lights, you might not want to watch this part. There are some of them in the inside part of the Grand Bazaar. Sitting the so. 
تفضل يا باشا تفضل يا شباب هارات حرفوز كسرات تفضل تفضل اهلا وسهلا مبارك It is time for me to leave Istanbul now. It is an amazing city. There's so much more to see and do. I will definitely be back to this beautiful city and more of the country. I've been here numerous times and I can't wait to go back again.